Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stop entering repetitive data all the time by using a default value. If most of your customers are locals, for example, you can stop entering the city, state, and zip every time you get a new customer. That's what you use a default value for. You can still change them if you want to, but Access will populate new records with those values. Today's question comes from Joanna in Key West, Florida, one of my gold members. Joanna says, about 99% of my customers are locals. Is there any way to make it so I don't have to type in the city, state, and zip code every time I get a new customer? Well, yes, Joanna, for this we can use something called a default value. Let me show you how to set it up. Joanna, here's a copy of my Tech Help free template. You can download a copy of this off my website if you'd like to. In here, I've got a customer list, and you can double click on one of these guys, and it'll open up the basic customer form. Now, I see what you're saying. If you go to add a new customer, you have, let's see, you're in Key West, so you've got one zip code, 33040. So what you want, if 99% if of your customers are local, is just to have this, this, and this city, state, zip filled in with the Key West city, state, and zip code. Country, I would leave blank. I usually, if I'm in the United States and most of my customers are from the U.S., I just leave my home country blank. That's for customers from other countries. So let's go back to the table. Here's the customer table right here. Right-click, design view. Find the field you want to change. So here's city. Come down here where it says default value right there. Now type in what you want for a default, key west, and then hit tab. It should put it inside of quotes for you. Go to state, do the same thing, FL. All right, zip code's right there. Now, you're lucky you only got one zip code for most of your locals. I'm here in Fort Myers, and we've got a bunch of zip codes here. But you could put in 33040. I know I grew up in a small town, Hamburg, New York, and, uh, and we only had one zip code there. All right, save your changes, Control-S. Now, if you go to a data sheet view, you can see right there, there's your default values. Now, you can change these. These are just default. These will come in on new records. Now, it should come in anywhere you have those fields in a form, too. See, I go to a blank new record here in the table, and there it is, Key West, Florida, 33040. And in fact, I don't think the customer list has those. Oh, yeah, here we go. State's right there. All right. I recommend you don't add new records to the customer list form. You can. I have it set so you can. But you can't enter in the city or the zip code there. So that's it, nice and short and sweet. You might also want to set up a default value for something like customer sense, right? You might want today's date to fall in there for a new customer. So again, go back to the table, design view, find the customer sense field, come down here for default value. Now, today's date's going to always constantly change, right? You can't put an actual date in there. So you're going to use a date function. There's two functions you can use. There's date and there's now. Date is today's date at midnight, so there's no time portion. And the now function puts the date and time. So if you care about the time of the day that this person became a new customer, which you might if you have a walk-in business, if you're a deli counter, you might want to know when, what time of the day do most of your customers come in. So in that case, you could put equals now in there. That's now with an open and close parentheses around here. I'll zoom in so you can see it. All right? Equals now, open, close parentheses. Okay? Or if you just want the date, you can go equals date if you don't care about that time portion. All right, so I'll save that, close it. Now when I go to a blank new customer, there you see it right there, 3721. That's today's date. You can also set default values in forms if you don't want to do it at the table level. For example, you can come in here, for example, family size. All right, you'll see under the data tab, there's default value. And that's handy if you might have multiple forms that are based on the same table. You might have a... You might have a form for managers, and you might have a form for everybody else, like your secretary and whatever. And maybe their default value for a credit limit is $1,000, but the managers might want a default value of like $10,000. So you can change that if you want to. All right? But if it's something that affects everybody evenly, I recommend putting it in at the table. Then you don't have to worry about putting in all your forms, too. Want to learn more about default values? In the extended cut for members, I'll show you how to change the default value on the fly by creating a field in the form footer that has the default value in it. Then when your records are when you create new records, 
it'll use that default value. For example, let's say you're entering in a bunch of customers. You got a bunch from New York, a bunch from Florida, a bunch from California, right? You enter in the ones from New York, you change the form footer. It says California now. Now the next bunch of records that you add will all be California, all right? So we're gonna put the default value in the form footer and that will be the default values default value. See that? Same thing with the customer sense, right? Let's say we're entering in last Wednesday's questionnaires. All right, these ones are all from 3 2. So you type them all in, type them all in, type them all in. All right, now we got last Friday's and it's 3 4 or whatever, right? You enter all those in without having to type in that extra data. That's getting the default value from a form field. I'll show you that in the extended cut. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And as right now, there's over 100 of them. So there's tons of stuff to watch if you become a silver member. Thanks. I cover a lot more about the default value property in my Access Beginner Level 3 class. In addition to default values, I also cover input masks, the format properties, all kinds of other stuff. That's Access Beginner Level 3. I'll put a link down below the video for you. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.